So we are here at our ceramic factory. A lot of our customers ask us questions about ceramic, how it's being made, what is the process. So the purpose of this visit is to help you understand a bit better what exactly goes into making ceramic product that you see every day in the stores in the USA or in Europe. Um, it's a very labor intensive process and we're going to take you today through a step-by-step -step process, show you different stations that will take you from the beginning of the process to the end to the completion of the ceramic items. If you want one piece of ceramic or if you want 100,000, the process is the same. And you will see that it's a basically a number of mold that will create the item, but there is no shortcut in ceramic. Whether you do one or multiple items, the process is identical. So this is the very first step. When somebody wants to create ceramic, what those people are doing here, they are creating what they call a protect mold, which is basically a clay mold, a duplication of an item that somebody wants to create. So as you can see here, he's creating the sample mold. Every step in ceramic is extremely labor intensive. It's done by hand. There is no, you know, automated process or magical process, every single step is done by hand, one step at a time. So this, this station right here, they are making what they call the mother mold. And the mother mold is made with a very hard plaster. And the mother mold will be used to create the production mold. So here you see the mother mold, which is a hard plaster mold will be used to create the production mold. The production mold obviously will be used for production, but the mother mold is what is being used to create the final mold that will be used for the production of ceramic. So what you see right here is basically a number of production molds. Each production mold can make five pieces in one day. It's a very slow process. All those production molds are identical, will create the same piece. The worker is placing a piece of clay into the mold, and by spinning the mold very quickly, the clay will take the shape of the item you're trying to produce. So what you see here, this is basically a, a stack of clay. This is the raw clay that will be used to make ceramic. It starts with a piece of clay that he dropped into the mold. One hour later, this is what you get. So what this, what this worker is doing here is removing the clay from the mold manually. So if you look at this, this um, item here, this is a very large ceramic item. The size of the mold that they need is quite big. So after you remove the unit from the mold, you reassemble it for the next pouring of clay. And then he's gonna inject 
clay from the top and start the process again, five times per day. What they do here, this is called a trimming station. And basically, when you get the clay out of the mold, it's very rough. And what they are doing, they are manually finishing the clay, the mold. For example, in this case, these are little ceramic pigs. They are making the, the holes manually, which obviously cannot be created when it comes out of the mold. This is the, the baking oven where the clay is going to go through a heating tunnel. It's going to take about five and a half hours for the clay to go from here to the end of the tunnel. The quality of the ceramic is determined by the clay that you use and the temperature that you use. Good quality clay at a higher temperature will give you the best quality ceramic, which is basically porcelain. So this station here is the glazing station that is basically what is going to give the color to the ceramic. They take the baked ceramic and dip it into a color called the glaze. It's a very simple process also done by hand, but that will give the final color to the item. That is what they are doing right here. This station is the glazing oven. We saw earlier where they were dipping the, the clay into the glaze. Once this is done, you have to bake it. The ceramic will stay in here for 12 hours. From the entrance to the tunnel, to the glazing oven, all the way to the end, will take 12 hours. So we are here on the other side of the glazing oven. The ceramic spent 12 hours going through the tunnel. And when it comes out, it comes with these bright, shiny colors at the end of the process. Now you basically have a complete piece of ceramic. And 
right here, this is the finished product. This is basically ceramic that spent 12 hours into the glazing oven to give it these bright colors. Here's the finished good right here. Here, this is the final station. This is basically the inspection of the product to make sure the product is good, there's no imperfection, it's ready to be packed and shipped to the customer.